Hey guys, this is Finkubing and today we're gonna find out how much your TPS and look ahead improve in one month. Now, this is a question that definitely doesn't have a simple answer, so this video will consist of two parts. First, I'll go through all the testing and in the second part I'll do the calculations and share my results. But for now, let's just start by establishing a baseline for TPS. I'll do this by frame counting a video of me doing 100 RU R prime U prime moves in a row. I did this 10 times and only included the best result because I felt like the best result would give a true representation of my maximum TPS. After frame counting, I'll use this calculation to figure out my TPS. Yeah, this is pretty boring. Let's just skip the rest. <laughs> and these are the numbers that I got. Do the math and you'll see my TPS was at about 13.53. Now we have all we need to start solving. So it's time to do so. The first few days went pretty normally. But then, something pretty amazing happened. First sub 10 average of 5. And yes, if you haven't already noticed it, I always solve the red aka the superior cross. Now I was really feeling it, but then I encountered a small problem. The tripod I was using was really unstable. Just look at this frame and compare it to the glass. I'll give you one more demonstration of how bad this tripod is. This is just unacceptable for a channel with like 350 subs, so here's my solution. It's the medical and surprisingly more stable, so it'll do the job. After that little problem I continued on with my solves, but then... So I might have gone away from home on a holiday, but was that going to slow me down? Well, yes. Yes it was. I still did at least 10 solves a day, but that was about it. During that time my averages went up about 0.5 seconds, but there were still a couple of days left for me to redeem myself. And no, I'm not kidnapped here. I'm just on a plane and it happened to be dark. Now that I was back home, I was ready to grind hundreds of solves. And, as time would tell, my times were back to normal. Suddenly, the month was over and there was only one thing left. Yeah, I had to do more of this RU, R prime, U prime stuff. So finally, after these 31 days, it's time to compile the results. As I just mentioned, I did this in a month that had 31 days. And I actually ended up doing 3224 solves, which is convenient to say the least. When I started my averages of 100 were around 12.35 seconds and after a month I actually think my averages had dropped quite significantly. At the end my averages of 100 were around 12.10 seconds which would equate to a loss of 0.25 seconds. Now it's time to look at TPS and look ahead. Firstly here are my TPS results after the month. To be honest, my TPS hadn't really improved much, but it's still something and it really helps out in all events, not just 3x3. So if we do some calculations, we see that my TPS improvement made my times about 0.06 seconds better. Minus that from the total improvement and we should get how much my look at improved, which is about 0.19 seconds. Keep in mind, during this month I didn't learn any new algs or tricks or anything like that, so there shouldn't really be any other outside factors. Now it's time to look at some percentages. 
So overall, my times were about 2.03% better from where I started. TPS improved my time about 0.49% and look ahead about 1.54%. Now we can check some cool stats like improvement per day. Put in the numbers and for me it was about 0.008 seconds. Now we can go into even smaller numbers like improvement per sol, which for me was about 0.000078 seconds per sol. I mean, that's basically nothing. Finally, I wanna thank you for watching. This has probably been my longest project as it took tens of hours to make. I'd say this was still a really positive experience because it was kind of fun to see the improvement day per day. And also I got a PB average at my next comp.